Hey there, Shooby Doodlers. Today is F in my animal ABC, and I have chosen to do a fire-bellied toad. <laughs> I'll be using a pencil and a pen and an eraser and a Pentel Aquash water brush and Winsor & Newton watercolours, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. So I am doing this uh, series of <laughs> pictures called Animal ABC, and basically what I wanted um, was just to do an Animal ABC, and it has turned into something slightly different, and it's turned into uh, not just an illustration project, but um, uh, I, oh, I got to change that. It's changed into a, a design project as well. I'm going to do more up there like that. It all started with um, a lion, and then. And I made a mug and a poster from it because I can. And <laughs> and then it's just sort of yeah, taken on a life of its own really. And so I needed something A B C D E F. I'm sort of onto F now. And I was looking through all the potential animals. I came up with fire bellied toad. <laughs> which I can't say I really knew anything about. And I really liked that idea because um, with the, the thing about making a t-shirt, of course, is you want a bit of a slogan, and, and immediately into my head came the slogan, put some fire in your belly. <laughs> I don't know why I always have to go into a kind of, you know, American <laughs> sort of news anchor kind of voice to, to do that, put some fire in your belly. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, so I thought that would be quite good. And so that's what I'm going to do. And this is my fire belly toe. And of course, it's not really, is it? It's um, let's, let's have him sort of sitting on a bit of a uh, a lily pad like that. And I don't want it too big. Um, this lily pad because it's it's got to sort of fit in the shape of a mug and on on the front of a t-shirt. That's the whole point of it. Um, I think that's okay. I'm going to start inking in now. And I want this kind of slightly crinkly line, but not madly crinkly. Um, and I'm going to draw the eye there. And frogs really have, I mean, if you know Kermit the Frog, he has that kind of line, <laughs> and sort of a slightly sideways pupil. But I'm not going to do that because um, it just makes them look too froggy or, or too toady, and I don't really want that. And I don't want big warts here, so I'm just sort of doing little warts. I'm just sort of a, a wobbly line rather than a big warty line. And, and yeah, this this angle on the feet, this is something I always find a little bit difficult. And these toes, so I'm going to kind of bring those up there a bit like that. Um, and then we're going to bring this sort of wobbly line and make that just sort of dot away into the distance there, I think. And then here we want these kind of little fingers and a thumb. And again, a sort of dotty line coming up there. Um, what I really wanted was a, a kind of a superhero um, kind of look, but I, <laughs> I just can't get it. The toads... <laughs> I don't think toads are ever meant to, intended to be superheroes somehow. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then we want that to be about there, I think. Leaving a little bite in the eye, which is the shininess of the eye. And then we're going to bring this down quite smooth to there, and then that will go a little bit sort of wobbly down to the hand. And let's bring the stomach quite smooth, but that'll just dot up to there. And that's going to be the thumb, and then we want the sort of fingers sticking out like that. And here we're going to have one, two, three, four again. So we'll sort of do that. And we'll bring this lily pad neatly around like that. When you are absolutely sure the ink is ready, then you can erase those pencil lines. A little heart stop moment there and I thought oh no I haven't pressed record <laughs> which I did with my last one which was the ermine if you want to see the ermine click up here which is a stoat 
<laughs> in a winter coat. <laughs> That's what an omen is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this across to there so you'll be able to see what I'm doing with the my tiny little paint set here. I'm using a tiny one so you can see what's going on. I am using a Pentel Aquash water brush. I'm not sponsored by them or anyone else. Um, when you the water is in the handle, when you squeeze the brush there, that's the squeezy bit, then the water kind of squeezes out at the other end. But when you're painting, you don't don't squeeze. Um, just hold it like a paintbrush down here or like a pen, uh, and the water will flow automatically. So. So I'm going to start with some green here, I think, and get some yellow and a bit more green. And uh, I think I want something a bit more greeny green than that. I think that's more sort of khaki, isn't it? And then I'm going to leave a little bit of white there for sort of shininess because they're sort of wet and glistening, aren't they, the toads? And maybe a little bit down on the back there as well in places. So if I just do that and then sort of come back up like that, leaving a little sort of shine line down the back. And then we can do the same on the, I was gonna say the paw, on the um, front leg. And then I'm just gonna bring that to about there because it's gonna have sort of red tips to the, red, <laughs> painted fingernails. Uh, we're going to want a little bit of shine there. And um, we'll have a bit of shine on the back of the leg there. And again, we're going to have red painted toenails. And I'm going to uh, sort of keep working on this while I'm while it's sort of reasonably damp. Uh, a bit of that cold and in there. So I'm just making this a bit stronger. Watercolour is, uh, <laughs> here I go again, watercolour is all about light and the light is coming from the paper. It's shining through these thin, thin washes that you're going to place on top. So watercolour is not thick stuff like you get with oils and acrylics. Sometimes it comes in tubes, but you don't paint it like that. Well, you can, but that's kind of painting like gouache. Um, and for, for, to, to, to really work watercolour, you need to add a tiny amount of colour, lots of water, and you can build up and build up the colour, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm going to add a little bit more green into that, and just sort of, and I'll just sort of mm, I want to use the word scumble, but I don't think that's the correct word. I think that's the thing you do with a sponge, isn't it? Um, but I'm just going to kind of drop sort of blobs of colour in like that to give um, shape and contour and and a bit of texture too but we're going to add texture with some dark blobs on later and around the eyes we're going to want to do a bit of work here um, and there's quite a lot of dark stuff goes on on the top of the head there as well so I'm just going to sort of do some of this into there and around and just stop about there and just drop this sort of darker hue in there because it's 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 a pure color it's not got black or gray in there black or white white makes it gray as, as a tint white makes it a tint not gray and black makes wait a minute white makes it a sh <laughs> white makes it a tint black makes it a shade there we go got there while you're painting, you know, you have you sort of engage different parts of your brain and sort of sometimes you're just talking and <laughs> rubbish comes out. <laughs> um, so we need to do something similar on this side, on this hand, this arm, forearm, and leaving little bits at the end for the fingernails. And we can do a similar thing here, leaving a bit for the fingernails. And again, we want to Use a bit of that sort of golden in there, and we're going to want to add this. Uh, I'll be adding shade later, but at the moment I'm sort of creating this sort of toadiness. I'm trying to anyway with 
with hues of a darker shade of green, a darker hue of green. A shade, a shade has a shade has black in it, so a darker shade of green will be a different thing. So this is a a darker different hue. And while it's still kind of wet, you can drop these bits in, and they'll sort of start to create a bit of texture, a bit of toady texture like that. He's coming along nicely, good. Um, and then I'm going to want a much yellow with green, I think, for the um, water lily. And I'm just going to go around that edge and just leave a little bit like that. There we go. I had planned that I might do a bit of wax pencil in there to, get to do the um, kind of veins, but I think I have a different plan now. Uh huh. And um, just kind of work our way in around there. So as I said, this is going to be. I'm going to put this onto a T-shirt with the slogan "Put fire in your belly." And Mrs. Rainer immediately went, "Ooh, should you be saying?" <laughs> and she, I said, "Why? What's wrong with that?" She said, "Oh, aren't you encouraging people to drink?" I said, no. So she was thinking that fire in your belly was like whiskey or something like that <laughs> no it's a it's a term for you know sort of passion put passion in your belly and you know sort of have a, a reason to fight for something a reason to do something a reason to get up in the morning with fire in your belly to go out there and change the world and what better than to have a mug <laughs> with that on it so every morning this slightly uh, anxious looking toad rather not a frog will um, greet you. <laughs> put put fire in your belly. <laughs> it's the the toad of anxiety. He's got fire in his belly, but you know it's kind of he's still anxious about it. Well, I think yeah, I think a lot of people probably are a little bit of anxious. I think if you've got a really just cause that you know or something that plan that you want to. Um, execute then you probably do have a little bit of anxiety is it gonna work is it, am I doing the right thing mm. uh, but, but uh, somewhere along the way you've got to put that aside and just say yes I'm doing the right thing and just get on and do it like I always say at the beginning of my videos let's not talk about it let's do it so uh, so this anxious fire belly dude is just summoning up <laughs> summoning up the the courage to not talk about it but to do it cool now we're coming up to there right i'm going to get my hair dryer and dry this now okay now i'm going to squeeze this brush a little bit get some water in there just so that i can sort of clean things up a bit so i want to get all that green out from there uh, maybe a bit more I want to clean the brush, get rid of all the green. And we're going to want some yellow, maybe a little bit of that sort of golden yellow in there too. And I'm going to start down here at the bottom of the stomach. So this isn't quite <laughs> what a fire belly toad looks like, obviously. And their stomachs are much more kind of uniformly red but I want to get this kind of feeling of flames licking up the stomach uh, perhaps I should have done that bottom lip green oh I'll think about that uh, so we want to have this um, so I'm, I'm using uh, these are cadmium lemon I think or yellow and scarlet lake to achieve these and Okay, clean clean that brush. If you clean the brush, then you just get clean water that you're painting with. And so you can kind of pull pull the colours about like that. There. Hmm, quite happy with that. And I'm going to do something very similar with the eyes. Um, like that. So I'm going to do the yellow down in the bottom half of the eye. And there's a little bit of 
green has crept into the eye, which I'm going to try and remove uh, for the painting's sake. Although I could just do it in Photoshop because I'm going to do all the stuff. Oh, uh, that's green again. Let's <laughs> uh, clean the brush and just sort of wash in there. Dab it and then I'll get a bit more of this yellow. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that little bit of green in there for the sake of the painting. I could have got rid of it in Photoshop. Um, but I'm also selling these originals on my website so you can go and have a look. They're ridiculously reasonably priced, <laughs> including international shipping. <laughs> to uh, Although some places I might get in touch with you and say I'm not that happy about sending it to some places. As I know from the past experience, I've sent things in the post to some places and they just disappear and they never get there. And it's not cost effective to send it. Um, <sighs> registered or, or tracked. So I might sort of get in touch and say, oh, you know, and I'll send it, but I'll, I'm going to track it and I'll charge you extra for that. Um, right, there we go. So now I'm doing things I didn't really mean to. I'm putting these extra little bits of sort of greeny blobby in there. So I'll just wash that away. Although I'm not sure now. I think maybe you can probably always do with a little bit more. <laughs> As I say, watercolour is all about adding layers and building up and building up. So maybe a bit there and a bit there and a bit along the bottom there and then a bit more down there and in just up and around there. And I'm just going to get the hairdryer out again and I'm going to give him a Quite a, a darkish bottom lip there. Like that. Now I'm going to use this colour here, which is um, neutral tint, a Winsor and Newton colour. You can try using Davies Grey or Payne's Grey, and I'm just going to put a little bit of shade in here like that. And mm, I'm cleaning my brush. And I want to just sort of smooth that down there and get rid of that hard edge on the grey. Um, and I want to have this sort of darker underneath here, but leaving a little bit of ambience, which is... So I want to keep the colour there, but I'm adding a bit of dark in there. And then clean the brush and let that grey just sort of fade there. Um, and then again... Now I can put a bit more definite um, shade in here and I'm just going to put that kind of like that and then across the toes and similarly under here we're going to need some shade coming in across the toes a little bit under there mm, I have to keep cleaning this brush and a little bit shade around there and I think we need a bit more shade in under there actually so I'm going to let that be quite a bit darker around the back and we want more shade on the on the actual um, lily pad so do something like that um, just soften that shade out. We certainly want some in underneath there. And that which I'm going to try and soften out like that. Back to the hairdryer. And now I'm going to need lots and lots of neutral tint. And I'm going to actually unstick this because I need to get brush strokes at a sort of an angle. I might zoom in a bit too. So the fire belly toad now has these sort of 
stripes and blobs um, all over it. And these need to be blobby rather than sort of brush strokey. So I need to kind of try and paint out the obvious effect of the brush stroke like that. And then down here we kind of have a um, a line almost coming all the way down down that way and then that actually goes off also into into the red uh, this is where it's <laughs> so easy to map the whole thing up And so with these brush tricks, we're also we're trying to get help it give a feeling of the curvature of the arms. So I suppose that's kind of following some kind of um, perspective. And that's going to sort of come around there. And not trying to make it look too <laughs> obviously planned. So. It, it needs to be kind of um, random, but not <laughs> not too random. Yeah, I think that's sort of working. We'll have a couple of bits in there as well. Um, I'll do something to sort of balance these ones out. Mm, talk amongst yourselves. Um, right, so um, I'm sure there'll be sort of fire bellied toad aficionados watching. Oh, the pattern never goes like that, but I'm <laughs> just <laughs> sort of working it out. So, this is more of a, a graphic design than a. a, 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 a an anatomical illustration anatomical i don't think that's the right word but you know what i mean an accurate illustration um, a zoological illustration i'm gonna have that a bit darker there so some of these places we want to make them a bit darker and clean the brush and i'm just going to get that dark a bit and just sort of pull it forward so it's not quite so dark like that all the way i think it needs to be a bit darker down underneath like that and again here i can now sort of thin that a bit as it comes up there maybe they should be a bit darker on the edge to, to sort of delineate them a bit more and that feels like that should be darker and under there and so then if this has got a lot darker then some of these bits need to be quite a bit darker like on the edge to give it that sort of 3d feel like, like the like there's a sort of a curve to the to the legs that should be darker underneath there that should be a lot darker I think um, um, I'm reluctant to do much more here actually. Um, unfortunately we've got a, a black ink line down the middle, which I think if I was going to do this again I'd maybe not do, but it sort of so helps with the drawing. Right, clean the brush and then sort of fade it into the blobs up there and I think that should be a bit darker underneath there too like that and I'm going to get a little bit of this is where I'm going to completely ruin it now 
a bit of shadow in there like that uh, we're going to want some red toenails delicious gorgeous red toenails like that huh <laughs> Like that, like that, like that, uh, 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 uh. and I'm not sure about that bottom lip. I think that should have a bit of bit of colour in it, like that. That's a bit better, I think. This is going to be coming off around there. Oh, that's too dark. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing there. So I'm just picking up bits of green. I'm just trying to kind of get some lily pad uh, veins in there. Just to sort of move it out like that. Mm, I think we still want a bit more under there actually. And there you go. How <laughs> to draw and paint a fire belly toad. Thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rona Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.